Alright guys, welcome to video number two and in this tutorial we're going to be creating that table that's going to store all of the messages. So we can do this in a couple different ways. The first thing that we can do is we can just make it all through PHP my admin, you know, go ahead and press all the buttons and select the columns that we want. Or a better option is actually just creating an SQL file and importing it because that way if you ever want to give someone the source code all you have to do is hand them off the SQL file they can go ahead and import it boom roasted and it's also good because you know you learn a little more about how to create tables through kind of in SQL language so go ahead and create a new file and press save as and I'm just gonna save this as chat dot SQL now it needs to be a SQL so you can import it properly and the first thing you want to do is put create table and the table name for this one will just be chat now it, whenever you create um, an SQL file you pretty much have to say what you're creating and we already said we're creating a table and then you have to identify each column that you're gonna have so our table is gonna have let's see five columns I think the first one is message ID and this is just the primary key so we can identify and organize all of our messages um, easily so this is of course going to be an integer it's pretty much the ID number of each message and not null obviously you can't have a blank you know message and auto increment because of course it's gonna go one two three you, you know you don't want two messages with the same ID number so that's why we have not null auto increment so that's kind of the most important column now we can go ahead and do some other ones posted on and this is just going to be pretty much the date whenever the the date and the time when the message was posted so then if you opt to display the time like you know most chat rooms and private messengers do so this is where we're going to store that and of course this is also going to be not null and the next thing we want to store is the username and this is pretty obvious what this is so I'll just make this a var char of uh, 255 I don't think anyone's username is going to be bigger than that not in all as well now the next thing is the message now this is the body this is the text that the user is going to be typing so for the message the data type that we want to store this is in is just text not null because you can't send a blank message what's the point now after this I'm gonna have a column for color now this is the column where the user chooses their color so whenever we store the color in the database we don't want to store the name of the color we want to store the hexadecimal value now of course a hexadecimal value is six numbers or letters but you also have that pound sign so it's like CC 0000 that would be red so of course six plus the pound sign that's seven characters so char seven and we can also give it a default value of black and those are zeros not capital O's and now the last thing we want to do is we want to set the primary key now a primary key is pretty much saying what's the unique ID number for this table and you choose one of your columns and for mine it's just going to be message ID it's the only one that really makes sense now remember actually I got in the mood of programming you actually need um, not curly brackets whatever these things are called print I don't even know what the frick they're called these things and end it with a semicolon because every statement and this is a SQL statement it needs to end with a semicolon so now go ahead and save this and as you can see it's saved in well I'll show you guys um, users Bucky desktop chat tutorials chat.sql and now in the next video I'm gonna show you guys how to import this into your table or excuse me your database so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video